This is what I do with some of the night lights. I put them in the bathroom. And you probably recognize this. This is the $2 solar light. I took off the head and put it on this lampshade thingy here. And it uh, runs just about the whole night if I recharge it during the day. And then you, you would have uh, some light at night. It looks much better when it is night time. It's kind of cool. This is the latest version of my solar night light. I hobbled it together with different kinds of materials. This is the circuit board with the dark sensing circuit. You see the photoresistor on top. I switch the position of the photoresistor from the bottom to the top so that it won't be affected by the light that is bounced off the reflectors here. You can charge it with a solar panel. This is only, I think, 0.6 watt. It's a 6 volt panel, but it will be slow going. Uh, full charge is about 4.2. Right now is 4.14. And when the battery comes off the charger, usually it's about 4.16. And actually, you shouldn't be charging this over 4.25 volt and you have to be very careful when you're charging this um, don't plug it in and and go away because these are a little unpredictable so you have to be uh, kind of careful and definitely you have to use a charge controller this can handle up to one amp at uh, Input is 4.5 volt to 5.5 volt, and it's. I checked it before. It uh, it actually works. It goes up to 4.23, and then it cuts off, and uh, and then uh, the battery voltage would settle down, and it dropped to about 4.16 or 4.17. So uh, they all seem to be working. They're protected. This type of battery is uh, protected. That means if you overcharge them, uh, something might happen. I don't know. It might blow a fuse or something in there. So, um, does it have 5,000 MA? I don't know. Uh, but it, it's a, uh, I think, a better alternative than four or five double A batteries. I was thinking of installing an additional diode here uh, but the problem with that is I would have too much of a voltage drop if I install two diodes so if I want to do that I have to get a slightly higher voltage solar panel in order to make the charging work so this is a setup that I have with this Dark sensing light, this is another one. 